Namaskaram Sadhguruji. I am Divyanka Tripathi Dahiya. And it's a privilege that I can ask you something. My question is that why are all the forbidden things so enjoyable? And how to stay away from such temptations? Namaskaram Divyanka. Who forbid you from doing what? So this what is forbidden and what is allowed is not a part of this culture. This comes from another place. You know about the dumb couple? You heard of those dumb couple, Divyanka? Adam and Eve I'm talking about <laughs> So, when they did not know what to do with each other, they ate that apple. They had only one apple and they thought they were in heaven. <laughs> so, after eating that apple, they fell and the forbidden tree what people have forgotten is, the forbidden fruit was the fruit of knowledge. So, God said, it seems, do not eat the fruit of knowledge, because knowledge is forbidden, because life happens out of awareness, not knowledge. Right now, we have accumulated stuff in our life in such a way, something is good, something is bad, something is virtue, something is sin. Because of this kind of divisions, because of this kind of discrimination from one activity to another, now we have these problems. These things have been said by people who have no clue what human mind is made of. Right now, Divyanka, if I ask you not to think about monkeys for the next ten seconds, <laughs> can you not think about monkeys? You'll think only about monkeys. So. The very nature of the mind is such that in this mind, there is only addition and multiplication, there is no subtraction and division. That is, you cannot take one thought out of your mind. If you make efforts, it will only multiply. It is like a car with all three pedals are throttled, whatever you touch, it only goes faster. So, in this mind, somebody told you, this is a sin, do not think about it that becomes your full-time job. So, drop this what is forbidden and what is not forbidden. What is your natural inclination that you do joyfully? There is really no harm in that. And when you take time to recognize what is your natural inclination, believe me, you will not do anything in excess. You will see that everything falls into place as it should be. Right now, small things have become big things in people's minds simply because they're trying to avoid it. This is the nature of the mind. What you don't want to think about, that's all you will think about.